I'm very excited that uh, as we announced on Sunday, uh, the Kenyan textile industry has uh, risen up to the task and is currently uh, able to produce as many masks as we, as we require. The second thing that the local uh, textile industry is also capable of producing and has proven that it can produce is a personal protective gear that doctors uh, require. Uh, with me here, I have some samples which we'd like to uh, show you. We also have some advanced uh, progress in assembly and making of uh, uh, ventilators uh, in Kenya. This morning, uh, all these samples were presented to the National Bureau of Standards uh, for testing and for confirmation of our compliance uh, with Kenyan standards. And starting Monday, we will have the discharge and the, the, the receipt of the certification from the Bureau of Standards. So I'd like to encourage all Kenyans, I think we've been all uh, directed uh, to wear masks. And uh, there's a, there, there, there's, there are masks for medical personnel and there are general masks that we can uh, wear as we go out and are uh, in order to prevent us from getting any of these infections uh, while we are uh, going around our, our, our businesses. So with me, I'd like to just be able to show you some of the masks that have been approved by the Bureau of Standards and by the Ministry of Health uh, for production. <clears throat> this is um, a three-ply mask which can be utilized by the health uh, professionals. But it, it is also good for you. So when you go out to buy, ensure that you can detect that it has got uh, three plies. There's, there's, one, uh, there's one inner layer, an outer layer, the darker part is the outer layer for gathering dust, but there will be a filter uh, inside it. So that is something that medical personnel can wear, but also all of us, uh, all, all, all of us can, uh, can wear. I think these three are all alike. They may be just a simple dust mask that can be worn by everybody, including our border border riders, just for dust purposes. And it will be made out of woven cloth, but that is not going to protect you against disease. It may protect you against dust and other, and, 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 and other particles in the air, but it will not protect you against disease because it doesn't have uh, the inner filter. So we encourage uh, Kenyans to acquire this. Uh, we have capacity from local industries, uh, at least uh, what, 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 I, what I have assurance for, the material we currently have in stock among our fabric manufacturers is sufficient to make 60 million masks immediately. And we have, uh, we have instructed them to get in touch with their distribution chains and make this available to even tailors and other people in the villages so that we can expand our capacity as quickly as possible. So then the fabric manufacturers uh, in Kenya, and there are not many, there are about four of them, have capacity that has been confirmed and will be distributing it over the next couple of days. And I'm certain within, uh, by today, we actually have at least a million masks available and I'm certain that they are already in the distribution channels. The other thing that we've been able to confirm that we can make is a personal protective gear that is worn uh, by our doctors. This has been made in Kenya, has been certified by the Ministry of Health and the Bureau of Standards as meeting the appropriate, uh, the, 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 the necessary uh, parameters and can be, and this, this is disposable though, so these are disposable ones. And these are available at even cheaper than uh, the imported, uh, the, at a price that is uh, cheaper than what we, what that we import. This is the same. And um, I mean, I think for those of you who are near it, you can, you, you can hear the noise it makes because that is part of its capacity and, and, and capability to be able to repel uh, liquids. So that is what the doctors have tested and approved. And I think our pride as Kenyans is that we are, we, we are, we are replacing uh, global supply chains in making these things uh, for ourselves. It would be very helpful for the local uh, textile industry that it can keep them employed. But I think it also help, uh, helps us in uh, enhancing 
our own sense of dignity as a nation that we can produce these things for ourselves. Perhaps the next time when we meet, we'll also be able to demonstrate the approved uh, ventilators and other, other equipments. Our scientists are making advances in also uh, developing the other products that we require for medical use. And I'm certain in the next few, in, within the next week or so, there will be some announcements in this regard. Thank you very much.